there is a huge source of power inside a woman, her love. A woman wants to heal her relatives and friends. There is a need to immediately take up training or healing courses. But first, just do something and start healing at once. I know this is a great desire. I always support these aspirations. But I want to warn you right away that there are special cosmic laws. And if a woman does not observe them, she can bring heavy karma from other people into her lineage. In this case, it is necessary to know the cosmic laws that should be followed when healing. If I share some special aspects of these cosmic laws now, and you follow them, you will never violate any karmic laws. My first point, my dears, is perhaps you will say, it's simple, will it really help? This will help for sure. This is doing charity work. What does it mean? Someone may say, I do charity work. I need to have a high level of income. If I have extra money, then I will be able to direct it to charity or create some kind of charity fund. If we think this way, we will never help anyone. The easiest thing you can do is just look at those around you, including your mother, children, partner, and colleagues. Do you think they don't need charity? After all, charity can be different. It can be a smile. Just smile so widely the person thinking of their problems thinks, what am I thinking about my problems for? And begins to smile back at you. This is one type of charity. Maybe you can approach someone and say, you know, I believe in you. You will succeed. You can do anything because you have a great soul. If you think this is not true, believe me that it is true. Every person incarnated on earth has a great soul and a special purpose, which they perhaps have not discovered. What other charity can there be? We are women, yes. Open your closet and look at the clothes. There are things that you haven't worn for a year. You should know that you will never wear these clothes again. Put them in a bag. Take them to those people who need them. There could be someone in need living right next to you. One of my students said, in my life, I have never seen a person who needs something. So I came to her city, and we walked around it together. And soon we passed around the corner of her house, and there were four people in need. They said, we haven't eaten today. She said, I've never seen you before. They replied, we have been here in the same place for three years now. Can you imagine how important it is that you just open your eyes? Of course, she exclaimed, God, why didn't I see you? She ran home, took some food, and said, I wanted to feed these people so much. After all, it doesn't cost us anything to spend a small amount and feed people. Take clothes that we probably don't wear anymore, our children's clothes that are too small for them now, or toys they don't use. This is easy to do. Of course, the more profound charity occurs according to cosmic laws, which I talk about at our seminars. And if you want to learn about the sacred laws, I will be looking forward to you coming. I'll tell you about them and share them with you. And most importantly, if you write to me that there are people who need help, we will go together with you and help these people according to cosmic laws. We will not only benefit financially, but I will heal the karma of these people. Can you imagine? We come, bring food, and behind this lies the healing of people's karma, and these people's lives change. This is true happiness, and by doing this, you heal the karma of your lineage. Since ancient times, there have been cosmic laws. When there are difficult situations in the lineage, for example, incurable diseases, cancer, tuberculosis, alcoholism, children born with congenital abnormalities or other problems, we shamans consider these signs of an endangered lineage. To correct this, since ancient times, the youngest child has always been given a way to serve higher forces and people. For example, they were given to a monastery, priests for education, wizards and sages. They served people for their entire life. 
Of course, this does not mean that you should go to a monastery or give your youngest child away to a monastery. This is not necessary. Time is changing, the situation is changing, and you, living a social life can help, and charity is just one of those cosmic laws that you need to live by. I am convinced that it is the duty of a woman. There is something that a woman can do, and this is a woman's duty before God, before higher powers, and before her lineage, to show the charity of her heart. Other simple things that you can do are spiritual practices. You may ask, which ones? The very first spiritual practice is to get up in the morning and start laughing. You may ask, what's so funny? Once a woman wrote me, I can't laugh at myself. Don't laugh at yourself, my dears. Just smile and study this energy. For our brain, it doesn't really matter whether your laugh and smile are natural or forced. As soon as your face muscles begin to work, the hormone of happiness is produced in the head. Let's at least try doing this. When you woke up in a terrible mood, you think, my God, I have to go to work. I don't want to, and I don't have the strength to do anything else in the morning. My body hurts. In this case, you should try a social smile. Try saying, Just say ha ha. This is a very ancient mantra of strength and energy. Then start saying ha 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 faster. After a while, you will realize you've started laughing. Let's do an experiment for a week. During this one week, begin each morning with laughing. Set a timer for three minutes and try laughing for that time. After the time is over, make a serious face. I'm sure you won't want to make a serious face after that. Do this practice every morning. You will notice how the situation and people around you change. Everything will change around you. I think that probably it is necessary to start with such a simple practice. Please write to me about what happens to you. And if you are ready for further spiritual practice, I will definitely teach you. To reveal the superpowers and become a magician, you need power. Strength will come if you bring 10 women to our school. Check it out. It works. The power has helped millions. It will help you too.